Hey guys, Bots and Blasters here, another episode of Nerf Thrifting. I'm at Thrift City with my sister and my girlfriend looking around. Down here I found a Spring Fire, $2.99. Not a bad deal for Spring Fire. It can handle a pretty beefy spring upgrade. Uh, but the tag was kind of messed up, so I didn't need it. I have one already. And of course, this Scout, which has been here forever. I was actually tempted today, but no price on it. Moving right along, I found a Nerf Elite 2.0 Commander. This is a very sad blaster, don't forget this. It messes up, it stops rotating halfway through a Nerf War for some people. <laughs> Over here, looking around, I found a decent set of Jurassic Park headphones. Cool, I could use these when I'm streaming on Friday nights. Feel free to drop in, say hello. Heading over to the other side, looking around, and looks as though there is nothing but more Poe Dameron's. They're multiplying with water, like gremlins. <laughs> but yeah, there's nothing here, so we're just going to go ahead and zoom on to the next store, which is Texas Thrift. Stepping inside right away, I found this Whiteout Proton for $2.98. I'm a sucker for these if they're in good condition. Uh, Maverick, always oh, see a Maverick lying around somewhere, that broken reflex, a destroyer, which I was tempted for, but I'll hold off on that, I have a project in mind, not yet. This hero shotgun, which was here two weeks ago, but now it's broken, uh, one of these Fortnite four cylinders, I picked one up recently, but it was not functioning properly, so you use the spring only, save the spring. Down here more odds and ends. This odd blaster, which no one has told me anything about it. I might pick it up just to experiment with it later. See some down here, some arsenal, some sidewinders, extra super drum. Over here in the bag area, found a couple of claws. Not a bad price, but I didn't need them all that much. Right next to it, a Ryan's World six shot blaster with a couple of elite darts and one AccuStrike dart, which was interesting. Not too much here, so we're moving along to another thrift store called RNF Thrift. This is kind of more like a I guess antique store, but they did have this weird exclusive set that I had never seen before, the Side Strike. I've only ever seen the Side Strike in the Zombie Strike variant, of course, which I think we've all seen, but these don't come with a holster, but they're still pretty cool to pick up. I might see how much they want for them. Next is Salvation Army Thrift Store. I don't come here all that much, but it's always cool to come and check when I'm in the area. The toy section's looking pretty slim today, which is fine. Sometimes it's a hit, sometimes it's a miss. Today's looking like a miss. Down here, an Adventure Force Super Drum. Very similar to the X-Shot Super Drum. 99 cents, not bad, but it doesn't have the drum, of course. I was tempted to get it to cut the spring, though. Left it behind, and headed to another Goodwill. This is one that I usually don't go to. It's very out of my way, but I decided to check it out. Inside a Nerf Super Soaker. I haven't seen actual Super Soakers in a long time. This was very grimy though, very funky, but still cool to see. Over here found, of course, a Battle Blazer. Always another Battle Blazer. No thank you. Over here, another Super Soaker-esque blaster. Couldn't tell if it was official nerf or not. And a Powerball blaster, I believe. Adventure Force Powerball, pretty cool to see. This was one of the Zombie Strike Super Soakers, which has really caught my eye. I really wanted to get it, but it was in pretty rough shape and kind of sticky. Anybody who's messed with Super Soakers know what that stickiness is like. But it had a rev trigger on the back, so that's what excited me. But I left it behind. And an Exterminator. I've been seeing Exterminators a lot, so... I don't know if they're worth it. Let me know. And another Super Drum. This one, an X-Shot variant. <laughs> oh, well. Once again, no drum, so left it behind. And then over here, short distance from it, I saw this weird blaster, which uh, I did a little research. It's apparently an airplane blaster. Fires off foam airplanes. A short distance from that, a flutter, super soaker flutter, which is supposed to have a bladder at the bottom and a tank on the top, and it was missing pieces. But anywho, let's go to the reveal. Hey, so what did I end up actually getting? Well, first of all, I went ahead and I got the white out Proton, which go ahead and feel free to correct me. I haven't finished taking off all the prices and everything for stuff. But this is a blaster I really like. Uh, really nostalgic, really old school feels here. For those who don't know, this is a Vortex blaster. So, cock back, load it. But if you don't have anything in there and you close it, you can't deprime it. So, it's a real gamble when you pick these up. I went ahead and I got my Vortex ammo out of storage. This is all I have left. 
Um, usually what I do with my more obscure ammo types is I buy these uh, storage bins from Walmart. So stuff like my old school vintage Busby, my vintage Nerf, my vintage old school Mega Darts, all those things I'll put into bins like these. But this is all the Vortex ammo I have left. Uh, if you guys have any you want to send me, I'd appreciate it. <laughs> Loading up basically is pull it back, take the disc, ram it in. And what's cool about these discs is they pretty much last forever. Woo! They pretty much last forever. They ricochet off everything. And on top of that, they're just like, they're great. I'm really sad the line was discontinued. So usually it's very hard for me to turn down a Vortex Blaster. Very hard. The last thing they ended up getting, even though I went to a lot of different thrift stores, there was really nothing that stood out except for this. Oh boy. It's a, uh, it's a Dix exclusive. So if anything's an exclusive, that pretty much ups my interest in it. And on top of that, if it's brand new in package, it ups my interest in it. For you who don't know, this is the Side Strike. This is the elite variant of the Instrike Blaster of the same name, the Side Strike. It's literally the exact same thing. Side Strike logo is still there, just colored in both sides but the zombie strike logo and monikers are not there anymore but it performs the same way all the same we're gonna go ahead and open these up they're gonna go in my loaner bin if nothing else because they are decent little blasters Now for anybody who are throwing things at the screen and yelling at me for opening something that's possibly vintage-ish, or new vintage as I call it, there were so many in that store as you guys could see, and the girl only charged me $3, so I was like, yeah, I'm definitely going to open these up and uh, have some fun with them. They came with something I didn't expect though, which is directions, which I don't think are really needed, but uh, hey, here you go. This is going on my instruction wall, my instruction collection. We're gonna go ahead and load them up with the Elite included darts and just give them some plinks around in here just to check that they're still working. They were in, it looked like they were in storage for a long time. Darts. Trying out the orange one. Load it on up. That's a hit. Let's do one more. I have a little target off center. Woo! Orange one still punching. Let's try the blue one. It's just interesting to find these because you never see them in the elite variant, so they really were an exclusive. Ooh! Almost bounced back. Wow, so still good, still working. Now the original side strike came with a holster, I remember. Uh, these obviously didn't, but you got two of them. For, or at least for me, for three bucks. And a little tactical rail here for, I guess, flashlight if you're doing HPZ stuff. Let's go ahead and do a firing for the zombie strike variant. So just so we can see, same thing. Yeah, but this is pretty much everything I got during this outing, guys, like I said. The more you collect, the less you need, um, especially since I'm not doing any commission work right now at the moment. But you guys are free to send me what you found while thrifting. My email is down below. Also, if you have any extra Vortex ammo, you'd gladly send my way. I'd appreciate it. It would help me very much in my humble reserves. <laughs> That's it. Thanks for watching. Bots and Blasters here. I'll see you guys next time on the battlefield. Peace.